Meron tayong formula na gagamitin sa pagkuha ng mean, standard deviation, at saka ng variance ng isang binomial distribution. At ito yung mga formula na gagamitin natin today. For mu of x, which is basically yung mean ng uh, distribution, for the binomial distribution, ang formula natin will be n times p. Tapos ang variance mo naman, which is denoted by sigma squared of x is equal to n times p times q at yung standard deviation naman is square root noong variance nyo kaya square root ng n p q so once again kapag ka tinatanong um, sa isang problem na hahanapin daw ang expected value ang ex expected value in statistics is basically your mean where n dito sa formula will be the number of trials p is the probability of success and q will be your probability of failure Now, sagutin natin itong problem na to at hanapin natin yung mean at saka um, possibly standard deviation ng given problem. So, in this example, Michael makes 60% of his free throw shots. What is his expected shot if he's given 5 free throw shots in a game? So, dito, kailangan lang natin um, i-organize yung ating mga given. Dito, is yung number of trial natin is equal to 5 kasi Michael is given 5 free throw shots dito sa given game. Tapos, ang probability of success niya is given then which is 60%, kaya 0.60. At yung Q will be 0.40, which is basically the complement of the probability of success. Now, to find or to answer the question, we need to find the, his expected number of shots kapag nag-free throw siya given 5 uh, free throw shots. So, yung formula na gagamitin natin is yung mean. So, mu of x is equal to n times p. So, i-multiply nyo lang si n, which is 5, times the probability of success, which is 0.60, and you'll get 3 shots. So, therefore, to answer the question, Michael is expected to make 3 shots if he's given 5 free, five free throw shots in this given game na ginagamit itong mga given um, probability dito sa problem na to. So second example, Anissa has an excellent reputation as a salesperson and she can sell bags of ice cubes in Alaska 92% of the time. Now, let's try to calculate her expected value and standard deviation given 400 bags of ice cubes that she needs to sell in Siberia. So dito sa problem set na to, you organize lang natin yung mga given numerical values. Yung ating number of trials, which is n, will be equal to 400 because that's the number of bags that's given in this problem. Her probability is 0.92. Yun yung uh, probability of success niya of making a sale. Tapos yung Q niya, Q niya is 0 0.08, which is pretty small. Now, to find the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation of this particular problem, gagamitin natin yung formula. So, to find the mean of x or mu of x, the formula is n times p. For the variance, it's n times p times q. And for the standard deviation, it's the square root of the variance. Now, to find the mean or the expected value, Value, simply multiply 400 and 0.92, so we'll get we'll get 368. So yan yung expected value dito sa given problem. At yung variance nyo naman will be n times p times q, which is 400 times 0.92 times 0 0.08, which gives you 29.44. With the standard deviation of the square root ng variance nyo, so square root 29.44 is simply 5.43. So now na, na, na solve na natin yung mga numerical values na kailangan natin hanapin. To uh, conclude, Anissa is expected to sell 368 bags of ice cubes in Siberia with a standard deviation of 5.43 bags of ice cube.